I think taking a proper history as a doctor can um, give the symptoms, yes. what the patient will complain of. That is what will point to this diagnosis. So do I have back pain? Mm. Uh, are my breasts excessively large? Um, do I have shoulder pain? Mm. Uh, do I have grooves? Uh, do I have any open wounds or sores? Because that's mm. another mm. symptom the patient may complain of. Where would this sores be? Is it because I'm imagining at the yeah. just below? <coughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you can add to that. Yeah. Yeah, of course, because of the sweating. Yes. And uh, probably the bra. The, the bra usually has like a wire underneath. Okay. Yeah, so the, the weight compressing and sweating can cause some uh, sores and yes. fungal infections actually. Under, fungal underneath. infections. Yes. Make, makes it even more serious. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, but it's basically a diagnosis that you tell us. Okay, there okay. No, um, it's not like malaria where you just do a test and voila it's more of a diagnosis that you make when we you tell us like your breasts are very heavy and i didn't have this back pain mm. now it's getting worse mm -hmm. the, the as she said the bra strap grooves mm. yeah and mm. you feel like your breasts are too heavy your they're heavier on your shoulders all right mainly yes okay and i like that you say it is when we tell you yes that you're able to exactly. actually diagnose what exactly. we're going through yes. yeah one thing that i wanted to now come into is uh, uh, that when you talked about the three consultations so now mm -hmm. you have been able to talk to the mother and the child like you yeah. said at some point you